Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this lesson, we are going to learn about using REST API with Ansible. So let's get started. So we are creating a play and then we are going to add a task name, which is going to be called REST API example. And the module which we need to use is called URI module. Now under URI module, we need to specify the URL which we want to call. So I have some sample REST APIs from this website. I'm going to give you the link in the comment box. So this gives information about country. So I'm just going to copy this URL, going to paste it here. We need to provide the method type, which is going to be get method in this case. If you want to make a post request, you can change it to post or any other method. Now we need to provide status code information. So 200, I'm expecting status code of 200 from uh, this URL. So if you get status code of 200, it means everything is successful. Else we know that there is some issue. Now what we need to do is we also want to register the output. So I'm just going to call it uh, rest response. And then we want to add another task, which is going to show the output of rest response. So let's add debug module and then add message. And under this message, we just want to show output, which we have received from rest response. So that's it. Now we are good to run this. So let's go ahead and run this one using Ansible playbook hyphen I hosts. And then we need to provide name of the playbook which is rest api in this case and here you can see it has been successfully executed and that's why we have got this response now what you can do is if you just want to uh, see the response properly you can just run this api on browser and you can compare the result so if i run it here on the browser this is the response which i get and this is the same response which we have got here okay so which means we are able to make a successful get call to the rest api and now we are going to use some real-time examples so what i have is i have jira here and in jira we, I have just created a task which is available here. You can see the task name is called user account creation, username of John. So what we are going to do is we are going to make uh, make a call to Jira REST API and then we are going to capture the response. So I already have the code available here. I'm just going to copy this code from study notes, going to paste it here and I'll explain you this in a minute. Now what we are doing in this playbook is we are calling a URI module and then this is a URL of Jira which you need to provide. This is again URL of Jira instance which I have created. This is a cloud instance. So you need to provide Jira instance complete URL here. Again this detail you can get it from your Jira administrator or, and also you can get it from documentation then we are making a get call and then i'm providing username and token which we which i have created for managing my jira account and then here you can see we are forcing basic authentication so there are two types of authentication which is supported by jira there is OAuth authentication as well but that's going to be little complex and for the purpose of demonstration that's not really relevant and then we are expecting status code of 200 for a successful message so that's what i'm providing here and what we are doing is we are registering the response here we have an added another task which is a debug task what we are doing here is from Jira response, whatever response we have received, that is going to be a JSON. And then uh, it gives list of all the issues. So from that issues, we are basically just capturing only one field, which is called a summary field. So what we are expecting is that this summary, whatever you see here on the screen, you'll be able to see this information as the output. So let's go ahead, save it run it and here you can see this program has executed or this playbook has rather executed successfully you can see this task has completed okay and display jira task list we can see this is the message which is available here if i go ahead and create another task so we can do that as well let's go ahead create and click on create i'm going to create another task which is less called and let's just copy it save it here click on create now here you can see we have two backlog tasks and now let's run this again and this time we should be able to see both of these items. So here you can see both of these items are available here and it means we are successfully able to call a REST API and get the details. Now what you can do is further you can enhance this workflow and you can create, let's say you want to create a user account. So what you can do is you can get this information from Jira of the task which you need to do and then you can create a playbook which is going to basically use this input in order to perform the action. So you can supply this username to one of the playbook which is supposed to create users and then you can just pass this user username and that playbook is going to complete the user management task basically creation of the user. And then again setting up a test environment for this also if you have any playbook which is going to go ahead and create a test environment so you can call that playbook as well so that's it in this lesson see you again in the next lesson mm -hmm.